okay. You know, we had to go a little bit thinking about this calcite veins that go through, because actually it's a metamorphic rock if you want. So can we actually find some of the liquids that penetrated this amber, trapped inside the amber? That would be the dream of every geologist. So we tried very hard and we succeeded. So this is a sample of the liquids and the circulating fluid that made the calcite veins. From those liquids, the calcite veins were formed. And when that went through the rock, they were trapped. And what you have here is a gas bubble and liquid around it. And you see, I can move it. So it's an inclusion in amber. So it's a fantastic fingerprint sample of the geological history of the amber trapped in amber, so-called fluid inclusion, but it's an organic world. So we also have the geological formation in the amber, not only the animal form, uh, information. So we could go and analyze the liquid and we could say exactly what happened when this amber was going through its history. To get this sample, you know, we had to cut 200,000 pieces huh, and polish them. It took more than half a year until we get one or two of these samples. And it's absolutely impossible to get. It was a miracle. We found that one fluid inclusion with the moving bubble. And then we thought it's the highlight of the discovery in the anorganic world. And then came this piece. And this piece had exactly the same liquid again like before, but it formed actually inside the bubble, it formed a calcite crystal. It proves that this is exactly the liquid that made the white calcite veins that we have in the amber, but this time the calcite continued to grow in the liquid when it was trapped in the amber. And now, you know, we look into the amber and we see the process of the formation of amber right in front of us, frozen in time. Something from the past, it's in the stone included. It's, it's there, it's like a DNA of, an, of a dinosaur. We can analyze it. Nobody have ever seen this. You look into it and say, ah, that's how it happened. That's why the formation was, that's why it's this, why it's that. Now we can go to high-tech universities and they take all this data out and compile it and we can solve the puzzle of the formation of Amber. Isn't that fantastic? Would we have expected that? At the beginning, we were thinking we have to find this dinosaur included in this Amber and then we ended up in a micro bubble that tells all the story, frozen in time, a time machine going back hundreds of years. It's like Jurassic Park. <laughs>